Hey Pisces, what's popping? I know you're seeing me like this because I'm trying to get this video straightened out so that you can see the cards on the table and not me. So they're working on getting all of this together and I'm starting to love it because that means I'll be showing my hands and not this, okay? And not this. I know y'all going to miss this beautiful face, but... um. I decided to show the hand, the hand, the hand, and not all of this, okay? But anyway, sending out shout out to my Pisces, to my OG and the new ones. What's poppin', Pisces? Yeah. Anyway, I was going to upload your video three times. Of course, I had people in here trying to work this whole system. But, uh, honey, I fell asleep, and I wasn't putting no just any videos up. So I said, let me take my nap and then wake up because I've been up. I couldn't sleep. Um, me, so-called drinking some coffee. Um, yesterday, uh, I couldn't sleep all night. So I just got up at four and started watching some Netflix. And did a video and I, I just couldn't get it together. Um, although I did get my nails done. Yeah. Alright, Pisces, let's get popping with this video. I'm getting straight to the video. Um, but before I do that, thank you for all those. And don't forget to hit like right now and subscribe right now, okay? Um, so that you can be um get down with Miss Lisa when Miss Lisa um do readings. Cause you know, I don't know what you two is doing. I gonna keep up with no you two. What they do every day, they every week they come up with a new law, a new shit, this and that, that. I don't keep up with none of that shit. I'm only listening to the other, somebody else telling me the other YouTube is saying this and that. I don't know nothing about shit. I'm staying in my lane, you understand? So, um, God is good and ain't no YouTube and nobody else can do the work that God do. So, to everybody out there that are tarot card readers and whatever, don't let YouTube get the best of you. Um, focus on God and the gift that God has given you. And God will always provide you with whatever you two is not God will. So the hell with all that. Don't even focus on the negativity things that you two and all them. You know they got to come up with their new things and all that. That's why other people got other platforms to go on so that you don't have to deal with this too much of this shit. Um, I want y'all to know that if ever you two just decide to act crazy, just follow me on... um um. My uh, Instagram or whatever, I meet up there or whatever else. Um, I don't sit here and focus on YouTube world, my world. No, no, no. That's just why you don't see me like that because I ain't beat for that shit. You know, I'm not going to let nothing come my way for my blessings, including YouTube. All right? So I've been backed up from that shit. I ain't got time to let nobody stress me out over nothing. I'm not beat for doing all these videos. I'm not beat for none of that shit. I do what I do, and whatever they do, they do what they do, okay? It is what it is. If people are going to like me, they're going to like me. If they're going to subscribe, they're going to subscribe. And whatever it is, they're going to leave comment. they're going to do it. If they ain't going to do it, they ain't going to do it. I ain't going to be going through all this. It's, a, it's enough stress that you got to sit here and do 50 million things at once that they want you to do, okay? Um, any job you go to outside of, of your house and all that, you ain't probably got to do as much as you got to put into a YouTube. It's a lot of work besides just coming in here and doing what you love to do, which is reading your tarot and communicating with your followers. No, YouTube makes it so much more for you to um, get into to follow their rules and their regulations. A bunch of bullshit, okay? But that's what you go through. So... High power to you too. I ain't got shit against you, but listen to me. You ain't stressing me out because God is on top of all things, okay? Everything is done through God, not through you, through God, all right? So I'm stress-free. So I'm telling all them YouTubers out there that got, that got um, this YouTube or Google or whatever stressing y'all, let that shit be and let God handle that shit. He will handle it, okay? Don't stress yourself out over none of this shit. It's the people that make the world go round, not the YouTube, okay? So, check it out. And I'm sending all my blessings to all the YouTubers out there. And I don't care what you do. If you bake bread, make candy, whatever you do. So, make silly ass videos, whatever you do. I'll send you many a blessing. Shit. That's what it's about. It's about being happy. 
switch over to um to TikTok or do other things. Uh, get other platform besides you too. Open up other platform for you to grow. It's not only you too. It's too many platforms out here for you to grow to be stressed out over one. It's not that it's the same thing that you do on YouTube. You're going to get your money on TikTok and anything else. Trust me when I tell you. Okay? All right, now let's get down with it. And so another thing I'm going to say, YouTube been around for ancient historical years. And Facebook came along and look what they did. And, and TikTok came along and look what they did. And Instagram came along. It's all different platforms. Don't stress yourself out over this. It's not that fucking serious. You know? Um, and that's what they want to do. They want to stress your ass out. Do what you do and be happy. Fuck all that shit. If they want to ban one of your videos, or they want to act like they're going to hurt you, God will make a second plan for you. He will. Trust me. And I'm talking to all those people that are out there to do YouTube's um, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever it is. Don't let nobody get the best of you. Keep moving on. And act like that shit just flew by you. Because the more you put into something, the more you stress out yourself. That's why I'm not up on this like that. I don't, I do me. Okay, I ain't stressing over this shit. Okay, believe me. So let's get with it. And I'm holding up this black candle because that's the way it is, honey. You two here, honey. Get y'all some of this shit. Cleanse your soul and your spirit. Stop being all phobic cat skin shit. Uh, like a horse or something, you know. Looking at everything everybody do. The finger pointing everything. How people talk, how people say shit. You trying to mold people to be... Something that you want them to be. But it's not. People got to be who they want to be. This ain't an easy fucking job. Alright. For real. For real. Um, It's crazy. But they get crazy honey. You know. Um, Trust me. You could go from making two. Three thousand dollars. To making two hundred dollars. That's how they get. They get real funky. And they want you to work. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you. Um, leave a comment. Make sure you um nah check this shit out. If you want to watch me, subscribe to me. If you want to leave a comment, leave it. If you like me, like me. And that's just the way it is. I can't put a knife in your head, a gun to your throat, and say you uh, you better fucking do this. Nah, it ain't like that. If you like what you like, you gonna like it, and you gonna continue to come back. It's just the way it is. Don't let nothing stand in your way. So like I said, I always bless my YouTube in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that's all I can do. Okay? If anything they've got, whatever whatever you want to see, and whatever it is against me that you got, or anybody else, I put it in God's hand. Take it to God because I don't fight nobody. I put it in God's hand. The old me would have cursed your ass out, but I ain't got time for it. That's too much energy coming out of me. Okay? Too much. So guess what? I feel this way. Take it to God, whatever it is that you got against me. All right, now. The black magic candle, baby. It is to break all kinds of spells. The way people think about you. The way they speak about you. You know, if they're doing black magic on you. And I'm not saying that people are doing it. But they might be doing it. You don't fucking know. You don't know. Envy and jealousy living people, honey. They, they, they fucking mad at you because maybe you had somebody they like and now they see them and they still ain't happy that they with the person. They still want to see you down to the gut. And they don't be one of them. It be the whole fucking family and the whole fucking entrepreneur that follow them and all this guy. You don't even know what's going on because you minding your business. And that's what I like about Pisces. Pisces don't know shit and ain't trying to know shit. This is for your health and that's what matters. Your health your abundance, prosperity, okay? Your self-worth is everything. And can't nobody take that from you, all right? This is to love yourself, Candle. And it, and this comes in pink. It don't come in red. This is just my personal one, all right? And I always show this, but this is mine, all right? The one I made that sits up in my altar. Um, As you know, I always wear my oils. Okay, I put my oils on. These oils come in oils. And also they come in powder form. Okay, 
This is the shit. If you don't know what it is, you need to be introduced to it. It's the wall nut bath in this, and I fix it for you. And I stamp my name on anything I do. This right here breaks all things from you. And it literally works from you taking a bath in it, and you can feel it. Because you're going to, all that shit's going to come out of you. You're going to know it. All right? And you know, I put the cross on me, whatever I do. You know, I, I, I sell flower water. I sell everything. I sell my jewelry, my stone, everything you want. All right? So let's get moving with the reading Pisces. But I send all my blessings to all these YouTubers out here to work hard. Okay, nobody should be walking on pins and needles over no YouTube. Ain't that damn serious. I mean, life is, 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 is serious, but don't make nothing. Don't stand on one thing because they will try to play with you. And you don't need that shit in your life. You need to be happy and move and be able to do your, your job and... That's all. I ask God every day to wake me up and make me better than I was yesterday. In my mind, the way I see, the way I hear, and the way I speak it. Okay? And you need to know that. Don't let nobody get the best of you. Spirits, tell me what this reading is all about. Tell me what this spirit is all about. Tell me what this spirit is all about. Tell me. Tell me what these spirits is all about that's coming. I read off of energy. And forever those who watch me that don't want the best for me, just want to keep up with me, I'm praying for your happiness, honey. That's all I can do. The enemy is always a lie. The enemy is a lie. And it's a damn liar. Okay? All right, now. All right, now. Come on, now. Come on, now. Speak, baby. All right, so possibilities, okay? Focus your attention only on what could go right. That's what I just said. When you learn to imagine the best case scenario, you get to enjoy the experience twice, not once, but twice. Know your lane and stay in your lane. Don't let nobody take you off your lane, okay? Don't let nobody take you off your lane. As soon as I finish doing this reading, I'm going for my walk. And I'm going to settle down. Ooh, I put my windows down, but it is getting kind of warm up in here. Okay, it says decision. Sometimes the best decision is no decision at all. Don't. That's right. Don't, don't just don't say shit. Stay silent. That's the best way to be. This way you don't say nothing out the place. You don't get somebody all upset. And let them think what they want. Because they and see, when you don't say shit, you got them thinking more than when you speak your mind. All right? Because ain't no telling what's going to happen when you speak your mind. Okay? Reassign. Right? You have the right to change your mind at any given time you want. Don't let nobody make you feel like you got to do something. You can say yes today and no tomorrow and no the next day and no the next day. You don't have to say yes. If you tell somebody I'm coming over and you decide five minutes later you don't want to come, you don't have to go. You don't have to do shit. Okay? It's just that simple. Just like that. Let me turn the lights on, baby. And let me turn this fan on, oh, honey, because it is hot. Um, all right, there we go. Thank you, Pisces. Thank you, honey, because who we? Jesus. Anyway, so let's get going. The point of that I'm making is anything can be possible in your life, but you got to want it your way. Don't make nobody make you want to do it their way. Do it your way. Your way is the right way. Live for you. Don't live for nobody else. Do what makes you happy. You don't have to do what makes somebody else happy. Do it because you want to do it. You don't have to impress nobody. You don't have to be with somebody for all the wrong fucking reasons. Uh-uh, I got to be happy. It's my way or no way. I don't give a fuck about shit no more. That hot water tastes so good. All right, Pricey, let's get going with this reading. 
All right, so you can change your mind at any given time. If you want to, do it. If you don't, don't do it. All right, Pisces. Spirits, tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to know. What is it that you want me to know and what you want me to say? Use me, baby. Use me. Okay. You got the Ten of Pentacles. And somebody's coming to your home. Somebody feels like you got it going on. Somebody feel like you are put together. Somebody feel like in this material world you got that. Okay. It's like they coming to you and you are opening the door to somebody here. You got two dogs, maybe they white dogs, two dogs of something here. Maybe you don't have animals. Is a child here next to you? Um, is somebody older? All right. But where you come from, Pisces, you've done a lot of work on yourself. You're an old soul. And there's a lot of things coming your way. And it's a lot, it's a lot of new things and old things. You got new people coming in your life. You got old people coming back. But you got to understand that you make the choice for yourself. And don't get, don't get your feelings so involved in situations. You know, don't get super excited because you haven't spoke to somebody in a long time. And now this person's coming back. And, you know, you got to thank for that person. You know, know where you are at in your life. Know how hard you come to be where you are at in this, you know, in this material world. You got a lot to be thankful for. You got a lot to, um, that you have. All right. Um, and it's just saying that just be grateful for everything. Um, for all the abundance that God is giving you, all right, and for everything you got, it's like somebody sees you, like, they can have it all with you, like, somebody feels like with you, they had it all, um, and I don't know what the next card is, but I feel like with this card, it's saying that the Ten of Pentacles is somebody having everything with somebody, a completion, everything, it's like with every. Every person wants that material world. Like Madonna say, living in a material world. I want to live in a happy world. I want to be good. Somebody feel like they had it all with you and somebody feel like now they got left out in the cold. Somebody feels like... Um, uh, you moved on, okay, somebody is really thinking about everything they have with you and everything they don't have now, the Ace of Pentacles, it's like you moving away from this person bought you everything you ever wanted, you not having this person in your life was the best thing that ever could happen for you. Because you 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 know now the value of self-worth. You know the value of self-love. You know the value of you don't need them. Even though you didn't need them never. Okay? Um, but just the point of you always wanting to have to give to someone that never gave you shit. Um, someone that probably talked you, talked down at you. Someone that belittled you. Someone that left you out for for someone else um someone that liked to argue with you someone that made you feel like you were less than whoever like they always felt like they had to downgrade you or like um it was always something better than you but i guess this person knows now that it ain't nothing better than you that they wish they um could change the time back Okay, so that's crazy, but it's like somebody here is feeling like they stuck making a decision. You got a lot of pinnacles. You got pinnacles, pinnacle kids, and this is about your money. Okay, somebody feels like they've been left out. All right, like uh, maybe you making this money or maybe since they've been with you, everything been rock bottom for them. Everything is going crazy for them. Like they are not doing good, okay, on whatever it is that they was looking for, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whatever it is that they was at, 
It's not looking the way it was when they was with you. All right? This person is kind of confused in their head about whatever it is. Okay? All right? So, um. Um, there's a lot to think about, but nothing is holding. It's not like you being a whole there. And and I want I only want to say to you is, don't ever feel like you are in a situation that you feel like you need to be in there because you don't have to be nowhere. Um, because this um. This Eight of Swords is right under the Tent of Pentacles. So maybe you feel like, um, or maybe they feel like, or somebody here feel like they they don't know how to let go. Or they're confused uh, because this life looks good to them or was good to them or whatever it is. Or maybe you confuse about um, where you are at or not quite confused, but feeling stuck somewhere or feeling like um, you, all you got to do is take the blindfolds off and see things for what it really is. Um, and all you got to do is just set yourself free from this. Like, why can't you, why you are sitting in denial about a situation? Why now are you trying to act like you don't see things and you feel like you stuck in a situation which it wasn't good for you in the past? Why now? You um feel like oh no I can I it, but it you know you just want to sweep this under the carpet too because you feel like um now I'm confused because this person is back but I I don't know Pisces to each his own I, and nobody's here to tell you how to live your life and what to do but if you feel like um you went through a lot with a person and that person's coming back with the same comeback with you. And they could tell you they done moved on, had a baby, got somebody pregnant, did all this shit to you. And when I come back, like nothing ever happened and you starting to get back because they just came back and you happy about it. Something is wrong with you. It's something wrong with self-love. Something is not quite there with you. And you don't see. It. It's like, you know, everything you went through is not a lie that it happened. But you are in denial and now you feel like. This person could come and go in your life anytime they want, and you still sitting here like, oh, well, I could take a minute and make excuses for somebody that walked out, came back when they wanted to, and it's all right in your life. Well, keep on watching you too, honey. You're doing good. Keep on watching, because guess what? You'll come back crying, because this person, as quick as they came in, they're going to leave again. And you already know they told you what they did. And they probably used your money. Okay, to do what they wanted to do, to build their foundation and build they um whatever they they kingdom wherever they wanted to, and did everything they wanted to do, and they back and you like oh, well they back. Let me give them my keys to the car, my keys to my door. Let let me feed them. Let me lay down and give them my pussy for two weeks down the road. They doing the same shit. How you know what I mean? Can nobody tell you no spicy? Um, you you gotta see things for what it is. Somebody here um, is either from another world, another world, excuse me, from a different country. Somebody here is waiting or traveling somewhere to another country. Somebody it may be different from you. Somebody is waiting to for their ships to arrive. They're gonna be traveling with something here. Is saying there is somebody from another country or speak a different language than you or different um, backgrounds or something here is different but this person um, you're confused about how you start to feel again about somebody that was in your life and they just coming in and have the hand in they the world in their hand and you're just falling for it again Pisces, know your worth. That's all I'm going to tell you. Know your worth. Know your worth because if you ain't learn, I don't know what to tell you, baby. Okay. Um. So, 
the Knight of Wands, somebody's coming fiery to you. All right, somebody's coming to you fast. All right, um, and this is not the fastest moving horse, but it's next to the fastest one. Very fiery, um, very creative. Um, want to build something, want to create something with you. Um, come in to say something to you with a message. All right, something here is happening, and they're coming towards you. Um, you kind of confused about this person, though. This person wants to offer you or take you somewhere or travel or y'all going to be going somewhere. But even though this person wants to offer you everything, you still like, mm, ooh, yeah, it's all right. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, but he ain't my type. And if it's a new person, it's like, he ain't my type, but... But he is pretty off well, and I can go for him. But in your mind, it's like, oh, I don't want to. But you know what? If this is a new person that's coming in your life that want to travel with you and take you out and do all kinds of things with you, and you're like, mm, let me tell you something. I'd rather have somebody that loves me or like me more than I would ever do like them because I'm going to do good rather than to have somebody use you and abuse you and play you the fuck out. All right, because you're kind of confused about this. And it may be new and it may be old. I don't know what it is. But somebody wants to come and work with you. Somebody wants to cooperate. Someone, somebody wants to bring their ideas to the table, want to come to the table with some information. And see what can work. How can we work this out? But you're like, um, I'm so I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this. Oh, last time it wasn't good. So, um, it's never been good. So, I don't know. Oh, no. I don't think I want to. You know what I mean? Like, you go in and out of this decision. Um, Somebody knows that they've been left out in the cold. Right, somebody like they feel like you left them out in the cold, um, or you felt like um, you did you put a lot into this person and it wasn't even worth it, okay, with everything they did to you. Um, but this person wants wants to offer you. I don't know if they want to take a trip with you, want to go somewhere, but this person is I don't know, like I said, different from you from another country, speak a different language, um. I don't know, very different from you, Pisces. But it, I feel like you just got all the cups there, but you're just walking away from me. You're like, I don't, nah, nah, nah. I don't, it ain't that much caring, loving in the world. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if I even want to work with this person. I don't have it in me to want to eat. It's like, you you know, this person wants to have something with you, but you're like, mm, no. Mm-mm. 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 I don't know, Pisces. You're like, I don't know. You're walking away from this shit. You don't give a fuck. Because you got the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. Feeling you're stuck all in your head about this decision, but you choose to walk away from this. You choose to walk away. You really do. It's like you don't you don't see it. You don't you don't feel for it no more like you did before. Tell me about this um Knight of Wands. The, look at this. You go from eight. You go from the eight, from the eight to the nine. I just feel like you got a lot going on and you got so much more that you can do and pick from. So you're like, man, I got so much more to fucking all these cups in front of me. Shit, why should I be sitting there worrying about this one that did all this when I can have anything I want? 
You're like living your life to the fullest. You're like, man, I, I don't even have to deal with this shit. See, that's what happens when you get to the point that you don't care. When you get to the point that you don't care, um, or these people make you get to that point that is so much, so much love that you gave into this relationship and you feel like it wasn't even a word. It was more of a hassle being with a person that, that it was, um, walking away was the best thing because this person just, it was just too damn much. Tell me more. Tell me more what, what they need to know. Somebody, I feel like somebody wants to travel towards you or come towards you. They want to come towards you. All right. They plan on making this trip to you. Or they look at this. They they leaving where they at to come to you. They wise. They watching you. All right. They're very, very smart too. All right. But look at this. It's an ending here. I feel like somebody's leaving somebody to come towards you. Somebody's ending something to come towards you. Somebody's moving away from somebody to come towards you. Tell me what this ending is about. Tell me what this ending is about. Tell me. Somebody sees that you. It's like. This ending is about somebody is working. Like they just see you working hard. Maybe you've been working what the number 38 or whatever, but it's an ending here. Somebody's thinking wise to leave a situation behind to come to you. Somebody's ending something. But they see that you're a hard-working person. The bottom of the deck is the lovers. I'm telling you, somebody's leaving somebody to come to you. They're leaving them to come to you. And I don't know who the somebody is, and I don't know who this person is that's coming to you. But somebody's got, they really into their thought about this. But Pisces, you're about your money. You working. You ain't. You don't see shit that's going on. Some of y'all already seeing this. Some of y'all not. All right? For real. Somebody here is really, really. It's like um the moon. It's like this is the lancer. Like somebody is really sitting still and in their thoughts. You know what I mean? Somebody is really into their thoughts here. You know what I mean? Um. But they're thinking real deep about you coming to your house. They're really sitting there thinking, when am I, When do I want to go? Or I need to go see Pisces. You know what I mean? I need to go see Pisces. All right? I, I want to visit Pisces. They spend a long night. The nights are long thinking about you, Pisces. Oh, my God. They see what is wrong with these phones. I mean, if somebody don't answer the phone the first time, that means they're busy. Stop it, Pisces. Damn. Shit. I said my number is dead for reading. Stop playing with me. Rude. Um, there's a tree with a bunch of birds in it. And there are rabbits all over. Okay? And it's, it's all kinds of birds here. When I mean all kinds, all kinds of birds. You got all kinds, like a whole family of birds. You got um, a lady holding, a lady holding a cup over her head. But outside the window, you see all these beautiful birds. Um, And then you see somebody young. It's like, you're not, you living in your world, honey. You ain't, you don't see none of this. You just really, really enjoying life. Like, you just having fun. It's like, you have so much good things coming for you, Pisces. All right? 
It's like you, you alone. You are alone. You just living your life. You don't even know what the hell's going on outside of what you're doing. You looking outside of this, it's like people, dragons and all that trying to get to you, but you like in the middle of nowhere and they coming for you. One, two, three, four, five. Coming towards you, honey. And you don't, you watching these stupid ass people through your windows acting like damn fools and you don't even know what the hell's going on. But it's something got to do with it ending with, with two people and they watch you. It's like they watch you working. It's like they, if you got YouTube, they're watching you on YouTube. If you got Instagram, it's like they want to know everything you do. It's like these people, and it could be two, it could be a whole bunch of people just watching you for not good, for the bad. All right? Watching what you're doing, seeing what you say, all this and all that. It's like somebody here is mad because some, it's like somebody's ending something with somebody to come to you. And that person is stalking you like crazy to see what you want to say. Okay, you got a stalker here. Um, but because they know that that person's in love with you. And they know that. But this, these people want to devour you. And you sitting there like in your castle watching these stupid ass people just flying by because they can't get in. They just... Got all eyes on you. The trees got eyes on you. They watching you. They scoping you. I mean, you can't do shit. This person just sits there. You know, like they like keep it. Uh, what, 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 what Pisces doing? What Pisces doing? What, what they doing? Let me go over there. Let me, let me, let me, let me see what they doing. Let, let me, let me, let me call so and so and see if they have. Did you see? But it's like somebody here is stalking the fuck out. It's not somebody. It's a group of people. Stalking the hell out of you. Like they have nothing better to do than to stalk your ass. Why? Why is this person stalking you like that? Damn. You got a stalker. You got several stalkers stalking your ass. Why are these people like that? This is ridiculous. And you know what? Look, a third party. So, I'm going to say it again. I don't consider a car saying a third party because if, if you're not in a third party, you don't consider yourself third parties, okay? Um, you don't consider a third party. They are in a party that they don't want to be in. It ain't no damn third party. Or are you really? Look at this. Motherfuckers are creeping. This person, oh my God, I don't want to hear you say her name no more. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear you call that bitch a hoe. You are every name but your own name. This person, whoever they with, is somebody young, very immature. Probably sit there and beg them not to leave them. Crying, probably trying to commit suicide. They leave them. Like shit from high school. Damn. Why you are vibrating, honey. You are in your vibration. Okay, this person has a lot of regrets. You got two, you got the third party. Somebody is grieving over whatever they get ready to lose. And this person has a lot of regret because they know they fucked up with you. They like, baby, you got two people here in chaos and you don't even know what the fuck is going on. They, st both of them are stalking the fuck out of you, Pisces. And it's chaos going into their world. About whatever's going on is their own chaos. And you don't even know this is popping off. But let me get my mom's cars out here. Because I need to be. Now you really got me being nosy. Let me get my mom's car. Is these my mom's cars? Where is my mother's cars at? I got to look for my mom's cars. Because somebody is acting crazy. You got people that you don't even talk to. Don't even see. Fighting fighting, cursing your ass out, you ain't even there to defend yourself. And I don't want to be there. Let them do what they got to do. I ain't, I don't play no parts of this shit. A lot of grief, a lot of regrets with a third party. Lord Jesus. And you and your vibration, you're like, okay, well, I don't know what they want. Okay? Um, so, 
I don't know. Um, let me let me let me do this. All right, here we go. Spirits, tell me, give me one card to read this. Tell me about this, all this craziness that's going on. I ain't asking for the whole deck. The Spirit's giving me the whole damn deck to read. Give me a card to tell me about what is going on here. Tell me what is going on here, please. Tell me what is going on here. Tell me what is going on. Alright, well, thank you. Uh, well, let's see. Alright. The sun is out. They want everything to be bright. Alright. The sun is coming out from this third party. This person is looking at the future and the in the past. There you go. Okay, they looking like they get the fuck out of there. But it's somebody here that's being sneaky and conniving. That is, you know, trying to poison this person from coming back to you. It's like, all this person do, I feel like whoever this person they with, um, is like young, um, like to get high, like to drink, like to party. Um, all of this is a fun thing with them and them. It's, I don't find, I feel like this relationship was based on, oh, you cute, you got nice fat ass, you know, you fuck good. It wasn't, whatever, they looked at this person to have fun, and they got exactly what they went for, have fun. So now they stuck with somebody, God knows what's really going on. Okay, what really is going on? They, they can't seem to get out of a situation. It seemed like every time they try to pull away from this person, this person goes and starts fucking them, taking their clothes off. You know, just, I don't know, that, that's called to me makeup sets. When you're young and you don't want somebody to leave you and y'all fight all the time and then y'all make up fucking each other and then y'all people think that's cool to have makeup sex. I don't makeup sex to me is not good because what that is is somebody can curse you out, belittle you, and come back to you and that like them cursing you out and belittling you is all good. Like the next time they're gonna rip your damn face off and that's how you get people abusing you and um disrespecting you because if you allow people to come and start fighting and all this, this is what's going on in their life. And um, abuse them. And, you know, the next time they get into a fight, they scratching the man's face and the man's hitting them and, you know, all this shit. And, and, and they think that shit is cool. But I ain't got time for that shit, honey. I love myself too much to let anybody put their fucking hands on me or anything else. I ain't going through that shit. Honey, I had a bad experience at the age of 50, um, 57, and I'm too old to be going through that shit. They can sit there and play that shit with them young-ass girls, and they can sit there and fight them young-ass girls, let them girls scratch their faces up. They can get whatever they want from them young girls. Please don't bring that shit to me, because I ain't with none of that shit. I am too grown for that, and I got too much going on in my life. To be going to court over petty ass shit with some petty ass grown ass men. You stay over there in your lane with that young girl. And I wish y'all the best of luck. And whatever you going through with her, keep it over there. Do not bring it to me. Pisces, I don't know what this chaos is going on. But this person is really going through it with somebody younger than them. And it's too much chaos. And she cursing you out. And whatever it is, somebody's cursing somebody out. And they cursing you out too bad. I don't even want to be there to defend myself because I don't want to be no parts of that bullshit. I'm good where I'm at. Trust me, young lady. I don't want your man. You can have your damn man. That's your man. You know, when, when anybody can have what I had and that person moved away from me to go with you, I'll give you hand, hands up, baby. Slap me five because I ain't got time for that. No, not even a little bit of it. My life is too much. I got too much going on to put up with bullshit. First of all, I'm not trying to get high and drunk with no damn body. I'm cool. I'm good. I can think. I can see. I don't need to be in another world. My life ain't fucking crazy. Okay? I'm like, I'm living a good life. I don't, I'm not mad at nobody. Okay? I don't hold no grudge with nobody. I let the past be what it is. I'm free of all of that. So I'm not going back to be 
in chaos with people that bring me chaos. And how do you want to be with somebody that broke up with somebody to come back to you and they ain't even done self-work on themselves? I don't want none of that shit. I don't want nobody's bad energy on me. Okay? Stay where you at. Work it out with them. And be happy. And that's all you can do is wish people the best because, I don't know, maybe you like drama. Maybe you want to be in that drama. I don't want to be in that drama. I had enough of that shit. Shit. You already said I can't make you happy. And, you know, well, if I can't make you happy, I can't make you happy. I ain't mad at you. I'm good. I wish you the best. I wish y'all the best. I wish y'all the best. I'm good. All right? I'm good on this end. I am very, 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 very happy. All right, Pisces, I don't know what to tell you, but I don't know. It's up to you. You got to live your life and you got to make your own decisions. Nobody makes your decisions but you. All right, Pisces, I'll talk to you later. If you need a private reading, get from me or someone else. There's too much chaos going on, baby. And guess what? You're not in the chaos, but you can be in it if you want it. You can go back, right back to that karma lesson if you want to step foot into that deep, deep water. Okay? If you want to go back into the sewage, it is waiting for you to go back in that sewage with the rest of the shit that you already been through. Think about it. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.